Hey there, this is Akshit Madan. Welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect Firebase with your Flutter web, right? So a sample app is currently running on my local host. That's a Flutter web application. And you can see that in the home, I, I just have the scaffold. I, I don't have the app bar, so let me just draw an app bar. And then we can go on Firebase, create a sample project and connect this Flutter web project with my Firebase project. So you can see that I can see the app bar right now. And now let's just go to Firebase. Let me click on get started. And from here, we are going to add a new project. Let's give it Flutter web connection, right? So let's click on continue, click on continue, select the default account for your Firebase. That will be a Google account basically. So you can also go on Google cloud console and check your projects, analytics, dashboards and everything, right? So let's wait for it to uh, like collect all the resources and all that. Perfect. We are ready. Click on continue. And now we will be inside our Firebase project. And over here, we need to click on this web icon. You can see, right? So click on this web icon, give the name to your web app. So let's say the app name is flutter web connection. And for now, I don't want to uh, also set up Firebase hosting. So I'll let it go. Click on register app. So now you can see some code is there in front of us, right? So first of all, just copy this npm install Firebase, go to your project and don't focus on this mobile emulator. It's not useful right now. And open the terminal of your project in the VS code, right? And paste that npm install Firebase. So it will install the Firebase plugin for Node.js. So our Firebase plugin for Node.js is also added in the package.json. Now I can come over here and copy this complete code that you can see over here, right? So this we need to paste inside the script tag. Let me just open my previous project that I connected. You can see over here, right? So this is a script tag and I have uh, imported the initialize app, then get analytics, everything. So just define a script tag and inside that I have pasted the complete code that Firebase is giving to me, right? You can see over here, the Firebase is giving to me all this code. I just need to paste that inside that script tag, right? So let me just copy this first and come over here and go inside a web folder, then index.html and you can define your script tag over here. So you can define one more script tag. So just come over here, paste it, right? So this is all set. And now I need to copy this part. So everything will remain same. Constant Firebase configuration will change because the API keys, everything is now different, right? So just save it. So this is all set now. Now what I need to do is one more step I need to do, I'll go in the main.dart and over here in the void main function, I need to first of all define widgets, widgets flutter binding dot ensure initialized. And after that I need to define, and one more thing in the uh, pubspec.eml, you need to now de define one more dependency that is Firebase core. And apart from this, if you are integrating authentication, then define Firebase auth, then cloud fire store, real time database or Firebase storage, all those dependencies you can define. But this we only need to set up. So in the main dot dart, over here, just write, first of all, make this function as asynchronous and define a await firebase dot, uh, okay, sorry, firebase, okay, why it's, okay, I did not download the dependency, so come over here and just run flutter pub get. So firebase core is now added and now I can go inside main dot dart and write firebase app dot firebase dot initialize app and inside this you need to define your firebase options so options firebase options and inside that also you need to define all your parameters let me just save it and you can see api key app id message sender id and project id so just come over here in the index.html and try to copy all these things api key then uh, let's just take all this stuff from here go in the main dot dart and just let's just paste it so from here, now we don't need API key, app ID. So app ID is nothing but your, uh, over here you can see this is my app ID, right? So let's remove auth domain. We don't need this auth domain. Project ID we need. So let's remove project ID from here. App ID we have also added. Message sender ID is over here, right? So message uh, measurement ID we don't need. Project ID storage bucket we don't need, right? And let's remove message sender ID from here. Yes, so we have defined all these four parameters as you can see. Now we are all set. Let's just stop the app and try to rerun it. And let's hope it works perfectly.
Now you can see that my web app is running. That means the Firebase connection was successful. Otherwise it would not have run. And you can see that in the debug console, we don't have any error. That means our Firebase connection is successful, right? So now you can go in the Firebase, continue to console. So everything is now set, right? Your web app is already added. So you can just refresh and you will be able to see one web app connected. You can see Flutter web connection is now added. So this was it guys. I hope you liked it. Just for a review, you can see that the main stuff that I've done is I've done three steps. First of all, create a Firebase project and then go inside your index.html and paste this script tag, right? Script type module. And inside that everything will remain as it is, as a Firebase is suggesting you to add, right? Everything is same. So this was index.html part. In the main dot dot, in the void main function, you, you need to define, uh, you, you need to initialize all your widgets and then you need to initialize your app with all those parameters that Firebase is providing you for your project and then you can run your app. So this was it. This was a so simple, uh, you know, these were so simple steps to connect your Firebase with your Flutter web project. I hope you liked it and until then, content, keep coding, keep innovating and thanks a lot.